All right, for question number two, we're going to be learning how to uh, find the equation of um, the tangent line, okay? Uh, we're going to be looking at the trigonometric function in this particular example. Question two reads, which of the following is an equation of the line tangent to the graph of y equals sine x at x equals 2 pi? All righty, so um, for this one, We're going to start off by writing down the formula that's going to um, guide our problem solving process. So the formula that we're going to be using is the formula for the equation of the tangent line. I'm going to call it EOT. All right. All right. So it's going to be Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Wait a minute. This is algebra, right? Yes, it is. This is the um, point slope form of the equation of a line. So you're going to be using the algebra here. But the calculus component involves the fact that you need a slope using only one point. The only way you can find a slope with a point, you need calculus. All right, so the m component is your slope. Um, and that's going to be f prime evaluated at x1. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy right here, the derivative at a point, is known as your SOT, the slope of the tangent line. Another variation of this exact same equation um, using A and F of A notation is Y minus F of A equals F prime of A times X minus A. In many calculus textbooks, this format is utilized. I like the one on top because it's familiar it's easier to remember alrighty so let's go ahead and get started let's write down um, all the things we need to write down the equation of the line and then uh, put it into the formula and we are good to go alright so we need x1 x1 is where you are finding the equation of the tangent line at and it is 2 pi so x1 is 2 pi and y1 is basically the output when you evaluate the function at the x1 value. So y1 is the function evaluated at 2 pi. So all we're going to do is plug in 2 pi into this trig function here, sine of 2 pi. All right, so what is sine of 2 pi? Uh, we could use our unit circle, or you could also use your um, sine function to find the answer to that we're going to use uh, both of them just a nice little trig review here so let's start by using the uh unit circle all right so let me draw my nice little unit circle here bam okay so we're looking for two pi two pi is 360 degrees all right so remember unit circle means the radius is one all right, so this is 0, this is pi over 2, this is pi, this is 3 pi over 2, and this is 2 pi, full circle. All right, and then we need the coordinate here. The coordinate here is, um, what is the coordinate here? 1, 0. So you got to remember how the unit circle works, okay? Your y coordinate is your sine. All right, so y sin, don't forget. So um, the y coordinate is equal to sine theta. And your x coordinate is your cosine. So x coordinate is cosine theta. In this particular case, our theta is 2 pi. Okay, so we're looking for what is sine of 2 pi. So sine of 2 pi is the y coordinate. And as we can see, sine of 2 pi is 0. So in this particular case, is equal to 0 so y1 is equal to 0 perfect so we have x1 and y1 what else do we need let's see we have x1 and y1 the last thing we need is m okay so we're gonna need some calculus for that so m is y the derivative evaluated at the x coordinate like that all right so this is a two-part process your SOT, slope of the tangent line, involves finding the slope anywhere, known as the derivative. So you need to find the derivative first 
And then when you're done with that, you're going to evaluate your derivative at the specified uh, x value, which is 2 pi in this particular case. All right, so moving right along, we're going to break it up and do it one at a time, okay? So let's do part one. So part one, um, we want to find, what are we trying to find? We want to find the derivative of the function. So the function itself is, what is the function? Sine x. So the derivative y prime, the derivative of sine is cosine. All right, cosine x. All right, so this is a slope of the tangent line at any x value. So let's fix the x value, okay? Let's find the slope of the tangent line at um, x equals 2 pi. So what we're going to do now for part 2 is we're going to evaluate the derivative at 2 pi, okay? All right, so we have y prime is cosine x. So y prime of 2 pi is cosine of 2 pi. All right, so earlier um, I indicated that I was going to show you the unit circle and the graph. I didn't show you the graph, so let's look at the graph. We're going to use the unit circle and the graph for both of them. All right, so the first one was sine. Uh, sine of 2 pi, we got that. We found out that sine of 2 pi is 0. So let's look at the graph. So there's 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So there goes your sine functions, like an S. So like that. It's just a rough sketch. Oh man, it's terrible. So let's try that again. So let's do it there, do it there, and then all the way over there. All right, horrible looking sine function, but it's okay. All right, so this point right here shows you that the sine of 2 pi is 0. All right, and we know the trig function, the parent trig functions oscillate between 1 and negative 1. All right, so how about, so this agrees with what we said earlier here, that sine of 2 pi is 0, so that's good. So now we're looking for cosine of 2 pi. Um, if you're using your... Um, Unit circle, cosine is the x coordinate, so you can clearly see that cosine of 2 pi is 1. Alrighty? So that's basically what m is. m is 1. Alright, now, uh, what if we wanted to use the, um, what if we wanted to use the graph that we generated to figure out what cosine of 2 pi is. So let's go ahead and take re refresh our memory on what a cosine function looks like. So it's like a cop starting from 1 center mean center max. So this is our, the black one is a sine and then this is a cosine. The red one is a cosine, okay? So right there. All right, so what do you, what does this show you? What does this show you? It shows us that cosine of 2 pi is 1, so our answer is correct. All right, so we have m. m was the ingredient that we needed calculus to find. Let's write down the other two ingredients that we need. x1 was given, and then we use, x1 was what? what? was x1? 2 pi. And then we needed uh, to use some algebra and trig to figure out y1, and y1 was 0. All right, so we're going to put everything into this formula that we have right here. Let's rewrite it so we don't forget. y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So it's going to be y minus y1, y minus 0 equals m, which is 1 times x minus x1, which is 2 pi. And then if we want to make this pretty, uh, we're going to have y equals x minus 2 pi as the answer to question number two. All right, so the answer to question two is option letter C. So that's basically how you uh, find the equation of a tangent line. I'm using calculus. Presentation, really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful, 
Uh, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. Um, questions or comments, just put it in the comment section below. And do not forget to visit our website for our epic formula sheet and other valuable resources to help you pass the AP Calc exam. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.